So I'm using this as a flutter jig. This is the new uh, new one from Glowbite oh, okay. called the Jack Flash. <coughs> this is 130 grams. You got these little dinner bells on the bottom. It's a concave shape. It's got the light and then two hooks. And yeah, my goal is just to get that fluttering down. You on? Yeah. That was quick. <laughs> well, I can feel this fluttering down some already. Yeah. It's exciting. Oh yeah, I'm on straight away. That was basically first drop. Wow. Not a big one. That's pretty lethal. <laughs> First drop on the jet flash. How's that? So the flutter action is actually really good, which is why it's Doing a little bit of line out, stopping, a little bit of line out. I'm just going to lightly pump it. Uh, that way uh, it goes down actually in a smooth motion all the way to the bottom. So I'm pinching it up. After <laughs> moving a few spots, it's taken a while. I think I've finally hooked a decent fish. A bit of weight. Only had a had a few throwbacks. They're just on 30 centimeters. This one's taking a bit more line. Back on. But uh, I'm just winching them in. Which is okay. It's slow pitch jigging. So. The reel's got a lot of cranking power. I don't really need to use the rod to play the fish. You can just wind it up. And when it runs, it runs. So yeah, that one's kind of just bouncing along the bottom. I wasn't really doing too much action on that. Just playing on my phone at the time. That's a, my first keeper on the jet flash. Should be at least 35 centimeters. All right. It's hooked on the side, which is quite interesting. Just hooked another one. Well. 30 seconds after I hit the bottom, did a bit of slow pitch jigging, but um, this one's not as big as the one before. I'll measure it, it might be 33. That's oh, already here. I reckon it's too small. I'll throw this one back. No 
calm down, dude. Floating there, and the fish are biting it. And that's quite a bit off the bottom too. Yeah, another bite. Oh, here we go. Let's take a little bit of line. I can just drag a bit. Just like a keeper. Yeah, which is good. It's actually a very comfortable way to fish, like the, the jigging motion is very slow, Doesn't, I'm not getting tired from it, and then in terms of bringing the fish in, and it's not that these are really big fish, but I can just sort of point the rod down at the fish and just wind it in. centimeters I think it's really good eating size he's um, sort of got a swim bladder out of his mouth so probably won't survive going back down so an icky to the head and then a cut just under the gills here it should bleed the same Got a good hit, maybe about 40 centimeters, about 15 meters off the bottom. As I was working the jig. Oh, it's a goodie. It's on the jet flash, 40 centimeter snapper. <laughs> what are you doing? Get off the teeth. Don't really use pliers. Bring it up, up, I think about 20 meters, and I drop it back down. And just making sure I'm slightly thumbing it when I drop it down. So actually, instead of fluttering down, it gets down quicker if I if I slow it down a little bit. Stops it from fluttering. The fish are biting already. Here we go, here we go. Oh. Enough for the net. Woohoo! How happy with that? 
That's a good fish. <laughs> Good lures, Wiz. I love it. Yeah, it's good eating size, 30, 37 centimeters. is well bled you get really good meat out of it so very white without the veins makes it way better if you're doing sashimi this is what the jack flash looks like in its packaging it's got four different colors and three different weights so you've got the color uh, name up on the top here along with the weight and then the Jack Flash is packaged in this sustainable cardboard packaging, so keeping plastic to a minimum. You can see what the back looks like as well, if you want to flip it over. It's uh, attached to the packaging using this uh, elastic. And then within it, you've got your pair of hooks. With the, and then the dinner bells, uh, which is the sound attractant, they're connected to the bottom here. On the back of the packaging, you've got fairly in-depth explanation of all the different features of the Jack Flash and also links to uh, where you can go to the Globite uh, Facebook page, Instagram, etc. Once you open the packaging, you've got instructions here of where to tie your leader uh, onto the split rings and where to attach uh, the hooks uh, onto the lure. So what you want to do is take the hooks out of the packaging obviously and then here's your lure, both front and back. With the lure, uh, you'll notice there's a light here, and the light is activated by water. And the flashing is actually stronger at the back. This little hole here is known as the fish scent dispenser, and that's where you can put your procure uh, or secret sauce, just to add a bit more scent to attract the fish. These are what the dinner bells look like, and they make a sound, a rattling sound. There's two places to tie your leader onto the Jack Flash lure. The first place, which is the spot I prefer, is on the solid split ring, which is this one here. So you have the hook flowing freely, the split ring, which is then attached to both the hook, the solid split ring, and the lure. I connect um, my leader to the lure using the uni knot, and I do five uh, hitches around. Once it's tied, use your pliers to pull it tight and cut off the excess, leaving about one centimeter of trace. With the lure connected to the trace via the split ring, this allows the hook to have the greatest amount of motion so it can swing around and hook the fish. The second place that you can connect the trace to the lure is onto the same solid ring that the hook is on, which is this one here. So I've removed the solid split ring that uh, comes attached when you get the hook out of its packaging. Once again, this is tied on through a uni knot, uh, looping five times through.
this method gives you a direct connection to the hooks so probably is the strongest connection so you will lose a bit of the flexibility in the hook or the free swinging I think at the same rate it will catch fish the same as the first method important thing to remember is don't tie your trace onto the ring that has the dinner bells and don't put your hook onto this ring that has the dinner bells because this, these, this split ring here is not rated for fighting fish